Hello and welcome to the latest Fellside Reflection. And I just want to draw your attention to a few verses from the book of Hebrews. And this is chapter 13 and a few verses reading from verse 6 onwards. This is what it says. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders, those who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teachings, for it is well for the heart to be strengthened by grace. Back at the start of the new millennium, 1999, going into 2000, I was then at Holy Trinity Waterhead in Oldham. And right at the beginning of that new century, as 99 went into 2000, I remember doing one of our services very early in that new year, um, something along the lines of what follows. And I got the congregation to imagine that they knew someone a hundred years old, born in 1900, and now celebrating their 100th birthday in the year 2000. And I got them to imagine all what that person would have lived through, the things they would have gone through. And of course, they would have been the entire history of flight from the Wright brothers right through to the landings of the moon and the latest space satellite sending fantastic photographs back to us. They would have lived, of course, through two world wars. They would have seen the entire film career of Charlie Chaplin and Laura Linardi and people such as those who have passed into legend. They would have witnessed the silent films changing into the talkies. They'd have witnessed the birth of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, Chuck Berry and the others, giving way in due course to the Beatles and Bob Dylan and other such talented people. They would have seen so many things, the rise of mobile phones and the internet, a long way from the beginnings of people starting to get phones in their homes in the 1920s. And that they would have seen so many things and so many things that would have changed. And that they would have lived through so much. They would have perhaps got married themselves, had their own families, become grandparents, great grandparents. They would have lived through so much. And that's just a, a, a few of the things what someone uh, would have gone through who would have lived for so long and uh, probably you can imagine many more and add many more to that list as well. And the reason that I got them to think like that all those years ago as the old century came into the new one, as we went from the 20th to the 21st, that so many things change around us in life, whether it be from the first attempts at flight, to the landings on the moon, the mass destruction of war, the, advent, the advances in technology. No matter what it is, great change comes. And sometimes that change can leave us bewildered at the swiftness of it all. But one thing I, I wanted to point out at the turn of that new century was the promise of the scripture. And uh, I too, because my text then uh, part of what I've just read for us, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. So no matter what changes around us, the Lord himself doesn't change. His promises remain true. His promises remain true. And the encouragement that he gives remains. And he says, I will be with you always. He says that at the Great Commission. Um, 
the ascension as he is finally taken from view of the disciples. I will be with you always. And that's a promise that applies to us as well in the 21st century. And it's applied from all the centuries since Jesus returned to heaven at the ascension. And he is with us to lead and to guide and to encourage. As the scripture says, he is the same yesterday, today and forever. And I think that verse uh, is an important one to remember right now. Because here we are, almost uh, 12 months of COVID restrictions. And all the, there is light at the end of the tunnel, the roadmap out of things, um, all, all these things that, uh, that give us hope and, and give us encouragement. But it's been a long road and many things have happened. Uh, I'm recording this on uh, Monday, the 8th of March, ready uh, for the midweek reflection on the 10th. But this coming Sunday is Mothering Sunday. And it was on Mothering Sunday last year that we had to cancel our services to begin to comply with lockdown and so on. And I remember on that day going along to uh, build the church um, in case anybody turned up and uh, we had to say there's, there's no service. And I remember recording a little message that was put on social media from St Tilda's. It would have been a day when uh, children would have been with us, uh, with families on Mothering Sunday. And then going along to Whitechapel as well, uh, where I was due to, to also take the service that day, and uh, also recording a little message there. And then things changed. We formed the Fellside WhatsApp and the Fellside YouTube as ways of keeping in touch. And there's so much, in a sense, that's changed over the last 12 months. In the first lockdown, we had such glorious weather and uh, so much, so many people were enjoying being outside, being in the garden. And then the other restrictions came in November and it was okay, but it wasn't like the first one. But this third lockdown really seems to have got people down. So people who I speak with uh, use the word jaded. And I think that's the, the expression he used, that so many people feel jaded at the present time. They've perhaps known people who've had COVID or died from COVID or sickness has struck the family, family members, whatever it may be. And there's no doubt that many people have found this latest lockdown after Christmas extremely difficult to live with. And that's why I just wanted to draw your attention to that scripture, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. So things may change around us. We may have had to live through a pandemic and all the uh, awful implications of that. But Jesus is the same. His promises are true. He has promised to be with us always, no matter what we pass through. So yes, as we are encouraged by the roadmap out of lockdown, the timescales that we were given a couple of weeks ago, we're encouraged by that. But for those of you who are watching this and you think, yes, that describes how I feel. It has been hard. I do feel jaded. I do feel a bit under the weather. I just want to encourage you with those words. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today and forever. He doesn't change and he has promised to be with us. And that promise is true. So no great theological exploration of those words. Just to simply trust in that promise that he doesn't change. He is with us. He will lead us. He will guide us. And so we cling to that as we continue to come through restrictions and lockdown. 
and I just wanted to encourage you with that verse Jesus Christ the same yesterday today and forever and no matter what changes around us how the world changes how the world changes as a result of this lockdown this pandemic he is the same yesterday today and forever and let's be encouraged by that verse amen so until the next time as always bye for now bye